Alright, so hey guys and welcome back. As you guys saw in my last video, I stripped out my hair color. All the purplish, grayish, weirdish tones that I had in my hair beforehand. And this is kind of how it turned out. It's a little bit more dark in person. Also darker in lighting, uh, depending on what lighting you have. Um, I am leaving my roots alone for now. I want my hair to kind of grow out some. Um, but in that case, because the rest of my hair is like this blondish, weirdish, grayish color, um, it's a whole mixture. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be trying to neutralize it and get it more of a grayish, purplish color. So essentially, I'll tell you what I already started off by doing. One second, somebody. So I started off by using literally a little bit like that much of this avatar hair dye in black and I mixed it with some of this uh, Tresemme Keratin Smooth with Merle Oil Conditioner. This is what I'm going to be using to dilute and kind of fill um, the bowl and kind of um, I guess make the color, the other color that I'm using a little bit less chalky. But this is kind of the grayish color that I'm starting with. What I'm also going to now add in is what I've been adding in to essentially tone my hair. Um, it is this Ion Color Brilliance Bright uh, Intensive Shine Titanium Hair Dye. So I'm going to add about half the tube in here. Now this is more of a bluish purple tint um, tone to it. So again, I'm adding about half the tube into the bowl, just slowly but surely making sure to get every last inch of dye that I possibly can because these tubes are small. I'm going to say they're only about three fluid ounces um, in total, but they do work. The color does last a long time even when diluted with conditioner because I generally like to leave this stuff on my hair for uh, upwards of an hour to two hours. So as you can see I've added about half of that in. I'm going to go in and mix that in with the conditioner slash dye that I already have in the bowl. And as you guys could kind of see it kind of has more of a purplish tint as compared to the gray color. So this is like the conditioner and whatnot off to the side and in the middle that's the titanium. So again, just mixing it all up. What I'm going to kind of try and do is darken up um, near my roots a little bit. Obviously the color is not going to do anything for my roots per se. Maybe tone down the uh, brown a bit, make it more ashy, but yeah. Um, so there's that. That's what it's looking like so far. Now I know this isn't going to be enough to cover my entire head, so I'm actually going to make two bowls of this. I'll be right back. So this is the mixture again with the avatar. This time I added about half a teaspoon of the color. And this is with the avatar, the conditioner, and the titanium. So as you can see, they're actually looking pretty damn similar. But I'm still going to go ahead and use about the other half of the titanium dye in the mixture. So this is what the second bowl looks like essentially after everything is mixed up. The titanium, the avatar, all that good stuff. Um, I'm going to say this color is still like a little bit lighter. So now what I'm going to do in both bowls is slowly add the teeniest little bit of arctic fox color and by that I'll show you what I mean. Um, just wipe off my brush here real quick because I don't want my hair to be purple. Literally going to take a tad little bit just like that and I'm going to mix it into both bowls. I'm going to first mix it in with the blue, come back, show you what that looks like, and then into the purple bowl. So again, really quick taking this, and now I'm going to put this tiny little bit into the purple bowl. The blue bowl turned out more purplish, um, but it's still gray-based. 
There's actually an additional step that I'm going to do this time that I did not do last time that I think will help with more of the orangey bits in my hair or more brassy yellowish orange bits I guess you could say and only a little bit of that arctic fox hair color sorry I keep going off um, off camera but essentially that's what it looks like there's really not that much of a change but it's just adding a little bit more of the purple pigments to tone out more of the yellow hair let me show you the next step I'm gonna do so for the next step, I literally added only a couple drops, and I'll show you what a couple drops to me it looks like, of the blue Avatar hair dye. Um, it's in Acai Berry Blue. This, by the way, these dyes have uh, vitamin B5, hydrolyzed carotene, carotene, keratin. They're ammonia and peroxide free because they're semi-permanent dyes. Now these are only about 2.8 fluid ounces, but as you guys saw from the dots, these are very runny as compared to the Ion, um, Ion Color Brilliant Slime. They're more of a thicker consistency. But again, I'm adding blue and purple pigments to help tone out more of the brassiness rather than just throwing like a silverish or grayish dye into my hair because the more color pigment you have to help tone that brassiness down the better off you will be the more of a silverish color you will get rather than splotchiness all the time um, my hair is pretty decently light i do still have this purple bit back here that you guys can kind of see it's in the back of my head so it's kind of hard to show you guys but nothing really on this side underneath um, there are a couple of splotchy bits more close down to my neck because I couldn't really get in and shampoo all that well. By the way guys, if you want to know how I got my hair back this color, watch the previous video. But again, I'm going to brush my hair. My hair is pretty much dry right now because I have absolutely nothing in it besides... Well, that's a lie. Uh, kind of a lie. Usually I put like 1,600 things in my hair after I wash it, but I did not this time because I'm dyeing my hair, of course. But essentially, um, I put in a little bit of the Emerge Leave-In Conditioner, which if you're interested, go back and watch my last couple of videos because I mentioned it a million and two times. Um, if you guys have not seen those videos yet, go back and watch them and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So I'm going to... Put all my hair dye back in because I just did the blue bowl and that's looking pretty damn good. I'm going over the purple bowl now. Make sure if you're going to color blend with any kind of color that you like mix it up evenly thoroughly because you don't want splotchy bits all throughout the dye that will affect your hair. It will affect it to a greater extent. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the blue bowl for my closer to my roots um, and then I'm going to use the purple bowl to tone out my ends. So the last step that I'm going to do before I do any of that, of course, is I'm going to use these Ion Step 1 Absolute Perfection Color Boosters. I only need to have one because with semi-permanent dye and conditioner based uh, products when you use these you only need to use about a third to half the bottle. What I'm going to do is because I have bleached hair I'm going to empty half a bottle into both of these. By the way guys you can pick these up at Sally's for about I want to say one to two dollars. Um, and they're really great for putting into uh, permanent color, bleach, and semi-permanent color. I've never used them as just like a conditioner based mix, but yeah. I don't know exactly where I was going with that. I apologize guys. But essentially, just again, make sure to blend that evenly. What this does is it's almost like an Olaplex dupe per se. For step number one, where you mix it in with your hair dye and it helps to create bonds, but instead this just conditions your hair. It'll restore back some moisture, at least it has for me. But yeah, 
that is that. Let me mix this into the glue bowl. I will be right back. So I'm back guys now. I just want to show you what my bowls are looking like. This is the blue side. Not sure if you can tell the color. But this one is definitely a little bit darker just by a bit than the purple. So I'm going to go off and use the blue for my closer to my roots. Um, I'm going to dye my hair. I'm not really going to show you guys the dyeing process. You guys have seen it a million to two times. But I am going to come back, as always, and show you the results of my hair. Um, and how it turned out, how long I left it on for, what I did afterwards, all that good stuff. So I'll be back in a second, guys. Also, really quick, before I go in and I dye my hair, I just want to show you guys that I'm going to start off by doing my roots probably out to here. I'm going to leave my ends because my ends are very porous until the very end to dye, and I want my roots to soak in a little bit longer because, again, I want them to be darker than the ends of my hair because I want it to be like a natural gradient effect, even though it's not natural. Just wanted to throw that in there, guys. If you have porous hair, always try and do, if you're doing semi-permanent hair color, always try and do the lighter color first, unless you're doing darker roots, then do the darker bits first. If you want like the natural gradient effect and you want whichever color you want to wash out faster, do that first on porous hair. Be right back. Alright, so I'm back now guys. I literally just let my hair air dry probably for like the past like five-ish minutes. I left the dye on my head for about two hours and 20 minutes. I know I went a little bit over from what I said before, but I just wanted to make sure that the dye actually sticks and stays in my hair. This is the leftover dye that I have. I'm going to use it as like a conditioning mask um, every once in a while just to I'll keep my hair so that way I don't have to dye it as much, but let's do the reveal. So, this is how it turned out. I can't really say it that well. I am going to comb it and part it like how I normally do, and wow, that, yes, it's definitely more purple than I was hoping for. A little bit more blonde over to the side but to me the color does look refreshed even though it looks like it's the same color as before I think it's still a little bit more pastel gray we'll have to see as it dries but so far so good I really like it it's probably still blonde back here but I'd rather do this than use a permanent toner and damage my hair more. This was just literally a conditioning mask, essentially. And I know it's probably not going to last that long, but honestly, I don't mind. I'm probably going to be re-dyeing my hair the end of next month or the following month shortly thereafter. So... This is literally just temporary, and again, if I want to touch it up, I still got a little bit of the hair dye left. I'll just do that on wet hair, not today, maybe sometime in the future, if I feel like it needs it. It's still kind of purple underneath, but it's okay because it kind of goes with the tone of my hair right now. Again, we'll have to see it as it dries, but I'm not going to blow, blow dry my hair. Blah, blah, blah. Cause I don't heat style my hair anymore as I've mentioned multiple times but my hair definitely does feel a lot better it feels a lot softer essentially when I finished rinsing it out in the shower what I did was use a uh, balancing moisturizer the one by Affigy it's in a pink bottle I just I want to check out the back of my head real quick so that was my main concern as before it was more of a blondish tone, blondish orange, but I think it looks pretty good. Let me show you guys from the back, split it down the middle. To me it looks a little bit darker, which I prefer because I want it to blend. The roots.
But yeah, this is pretty much what I'm going to be stuck with. Um, it does look a little bit kind of the same as before, but again, I still have purple undertones and whatnot in my hair. But I, I do still like it. And eventually I might go a little bit lighter with my hair. Like, I'll probably bleach it out again, but I'm trying to give my hair a break, keep it as healthy as possible. Probably do that when I retouch my roots and whatnot. Where have they been four minutes of me playing with my hair? But, uh, again, I do like the color touch up. I do feel that it's better for me, and I don't regret stripping out the hair color that I had before because then I know this will fade a lot quicker because it's not color built on top of color because I removed a good majority of the color before and now that I know that that color stripper method works I might even do that like a few days before I bleach it out but yeah thank you guys very much for watching I'm gonna go through and do my after hair care routine if you're interested in seeing that go back and watch my hair wash routine like subscribe and comment if you guys enjoyed this video as you can see my roots are definitely gonna need to be touched up within the next couple of months but Again, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and comment if you wish to do so, as always. And tell me how you feel about this hair in the comments below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, uh, as always, I will also list the products and whatnot that I used in the description box below. And sorry, I can't help but play with my hair because I, I do enjoy the color like a lot. Like it's more pastel-y purple rather than darkish purple. Um. And I'll see you guys in my next video, though. Keep on rocking with whatever hair you have. Don't let anybody tell you any different because you are amazing. Just got to say that. Bye, guys.